Hi, welcome to Crucible Arms. Today we're going to do a little accuracy testing. I've got some Black Hills uh, match grade 5.56. I've also got some Wolf Gold, which is called 223, but it's actually loaded to 556 specs. And see how it runs through uh, my BCM. Now this is my fighting rifle, so it's not a designated marksman's rifle. It is not a precision long range rifle. It's a lightweight fighting rifle. But I thought it'd be fun today to see what kind of accuracy we can get out of this weapon system. I'll give you a brief description of the rifle. Starting at the front, we've got a BCM Gunfighter Mod 1 muzzle brake. It's attached to an enhanced lightweight barrel from, again, BCM, chrome lined, 1 and 7 twist. It's a 14 and a half inch barrel, so the muzzle brake is pinned to it so that it's legal. Uh, it's got a KRM uh, 13 inch rail on it, again, from BCM directly. It has an enforced light on the front of it, along with a 45 degree mounting option. I'm running the Atlas bipod on it. These are spendy, but worth every penny. I've got the new BCM rail covers on here, and they are terrific. Uh, for 10 bucks, you get five of them, and they just snap right into place. They're very low profile. So if you're shooting without gloves and you're worried about it getting a little heated up, uh, it works great. I also have a set of Troy Battle sights on this. Uh, they're flip-ups so that I can run an optic. It's and then I've also got a Trijicon ACOG on here, the 4x magnification, as well as a red dot on top of it. Finishing up the components, it is a BCM upper as well as a BCM lower. I put a Geisley SSAE trigger in it. It has the BCM Gunfighter grip, and it also has the BCM Gunfighter buttstock on it. So that's pretty much the rig as it's set up. As I said before, it's not a designated marksman rifle, but I'd like to see what kind of accuracy we can get out of it today. So let's start out with the Wolf Gold and see what kind of groups we can get. Get my eyes and ears on and off we go. All right, let's go have a look. So this is what I've come to expect pretty much from the Wolf Gold, about a two inch spread there. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, you know, relatively accurate. It is a 14 and a half inch barrel. It's a lightweight barrel, but uh, let's see if we can't do better with the Black Hills. So let's see how the rifle runs with the Black Hills 77 grain open tip match. All right. I'm gonna call that a flyer. Obviously we've got one, two, three, four that are right on top of each other. And then that's, I'm gonna say that's me. Uh, maybe the ammunition, but I bet it was probably more me. Um, this is what I would come to expect. I mean, that's a nice group, even in a 14 and a half inch barrel. So I'm impressed. So what has this little experiment told me? Well, what it tells me is it shoots both the Wolf Gold and the Black Hills just fine. 
uh, as you know, different rifles like different ammunition. It depends on the barrel length, it depends on the twist rate. Um, there's all types of things, manufacturing variances, what's the chrome lining like in your barrel, will determine which load your rifle likes best. Uh, in this particular experiment, it liked the Black Hills match grade ammo better than it liked the Wolf Gold. That doesn't surprise me, it should. You'd hope that you, when you're buying match grade ammo, you're getting your money's worth. But that's not always the case. How much better do you get with a match grade ammo as far as uh, accuracy when it comes to a regular off the shelf box type ammo? Um, so no big surprises to me other than my eyes are getting older and older so it is getting harder for me to uh, be as accurate as I used to be. But if you're plinking, you know, I throw whatever I can in there. I've got some steel targets down there that I'm going to take some shots at here for you with the Wolf Gold and show you that, you know, you can have a barrel of fun with it. It's you know, obviously cheaper than match grade ammo. Uh, but if you really want to do the uh, dialing it in stuff and, and really see what kind of groups you can shoot um, in this particular rifle, the Black Hills make sense. So let's shoot some steel. Hey, thanks for stopping by Crucible Arms again. If you like what you saw, please like this video, make a comment down below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. You can also find me at www.facebook.com forward slash Crucible Arms. Till next time, keep all the rounds downrange. Thanks.